What's the crack, lads? Tomorrow is Player of the Week Thursday. Here are my predictions of who I think will come. There could be a couple of beasts. And of course, let me know who you think will come in the comments below. So for the last couple of months, Konami have actually been putting out a tweet on their official Twitter account on play underscore eFootball about the Player of the Weeks coming. They usually tease one or two of the boosters. And we kind of know, obviously, there's a lot of Sherlock Holmes detectives on Twitter and on Discord and basically everywhere, man, that we literally know who's going to be coming when they release these players based on the renders that they have. So these two boosters look to be Haaland and Bellingham. These are going to be beastly players. I think Bellingham is definitely due a very, very, very like meta type end game card. And Haaland as well, man. I want to see his balance improved. The balance on Haaland and his tight possession has been a massive problem for every card uh, so far in eFootball 2024 and in eFootball 2023. Who else could come? Well, we do think that Rea could come as well. Dava Rea, he could come because he was one of the only goalkeepers across the top five or six uh, leagues in world football that kept a clean sheet. Arsenal had an absolutely unbelievable result, 6-0. And of course, we do think Declan Rice might come as well. He had a phenomenal game. It could be Saka. It's a mix-up between Saka and Rice. I think Declan Rice will come because he hasn't had a player of the week for a while. Saka hasn't either, to be honest, but I definitely think that we will we will 100% get Rice or Saka. I would be shocked if we don't. Um, they did, you know, an absolutely amazing win. Declan Rice scored a, a really nice goal. Saka scored two, so it's kind of a toss-up. And they usually like to stick to the licensed teams that they have as well, which always helps. And, of course, sticking to that trend, we do have Barcelona's newest wonder kid, Yamal. This guy is an absolute beast, Lamine Yamal. He is a monster. He's never had a featured card in the game. I think this is kind of where they need to go with the player of the week. Give this a really beastly card, 90 overall or 92 overall, um, with a load of tricks and a load of skills and, you know, maybe super sub and a couple of bits and pieces like that. You know, just to kind of break things up a little bit. Also, one of the best players in eFootball that a lot of people like to use on a road to glory or a hidden kind of gem series is Dennis Sakaria. This guy is an absolute monster statistically wise. He's a beast and he's got everything that you could possibly want with just his base card now he did have a card way back i think maybe about six months ago correct me if i'm wrong um maybe it wasn't even that long ago actually with this with this render here but i think that after scoring his two goals in the league one uh the other day they had a really good win i think that he will get one which a lot of people will like and also highland lads i'm a manchester united fan and it's ridiculous that Hoyland hasn't got a, a kind of a player of the week card so far in this uh, in this player of the week kind of like, you know, trend on the Thursdays. I mean, he's a partner player, obviously, with the partner club that uh, Konami have the license with in eFootball24. And of course, like he's been, you know, phenomenal this season, I think, for United. He's been a real bright, bright spark uh, when things have looked quite dark over at Old Trafford. So I definitely think he's a huge huge one for the future and I think he could get his card on Thursday the only thing that might stop it is that there is a couple of English league players there then also to round it off we have these two boys these are just kind of throwing it out I suppose as to like who could come you know we're just throwing it out there as to who could come um I don't know much about this guy this was one of the suggestions in the YouTube comments and Coop Miners has also had a, a, a card as well again you've got Atalanta there as well who they've the license for um which kind of ties in it could be a couple I mean the Kettler there's a few there that could be there um but that is pretty much it let's just short and sweet video I definitely think we're going to have Bellingham and Haaland that will be quite beastly as boosters and it just depends on what other booster the rest of the boys get but yeah let me know what you guys think I will be back very, very soon. Of course, we will be live streaming again Thursday and I uh, hope to see you guys there. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and your predictions. Am I right or am I wrong? Let's see tomorrow. But let me know yours first.